poultry growers learn about new cooling systems which will save on water and are less expensive to install. Dr. Susan Watkins of the University of Arkansas's Poultry Science Department gave those attending the Young Farmer and Rancher Conference a preview of a new sprinkler system that will potentially replace more expensive cool cell pads in use in most poultry houses today. The benefits are if we can cool the bird and achieve the same performance that we are achieving with our tunnel ventilated cool cell houses, but yet reduce our water usage by 50% or more and um, keep the houses drier, then we have an opportunity to improve our costs. Watkins says the sprinkler systems can be installed at a significant savings over the cool cell tunnel ventilated systems. To um, put in cool cell pads on a typical 40 by 400 foot house, we're looking at 110 feet of six inch pad, five foot tall. It's gonna cost you anywhere from 18 to $20,000 to put that in. And if you were to put in the sprinkler systems, it may only cost you two to 4,000 per house to do this. Though the university has tested the system on only one flock of birds so far, Watkins says the mortality rates are down, feed conversion rates and bird weights are about the same, and the chickens seem to be more active and comfortable. Lincoln County grower Todd Dutton says the prospect of a less expensive, more efficient cooling system is encouraging. The feasibility of it to me would be cheaper and uh, it would be something that I would think about trying. Uh, especially if you can keep your floors drier and you can uh, uh, save on water. I mean, everybody's looking for a reason to cut costs, so I'm willing to try anything. Watkins says her colleague, Dr. Yi Liang, is designing a sprinkler system and may soon contract with a commercial dealer to build and market it to poultry growers once she's satisfied it's ready to roll out.